TAP is a program that we run out of the Results for Development Institute. It started in 2006, and the mission of TAP is to support the capacity and strengthen the capacity of civil society organizations to hold their governments accountable for public spending and service delivery in health, education, and other social sectors. One of the things we work on at TAP is trying to support organizations that are actually on the ground to do work on health and education system strengthening. So there's a lot of research in this area on the efficiency of public spending and the efficiency of service delivery in health and education. Um, but we believe at TAP that some of the strongest and best people and organizations to do this work are the ones that are actually benefiting from the services that the government is providing or should be benefiting, um, ones that know the context of the countries they're working in very well, and people and organizations that are on the ground 24-7 to actually monitor government performance and hold their governments accountable for their work. So one of the things we try to support at TAP is organizations that are actually doing this work on the ground on a day-to-day -day basis and can really work to improve the way the health systems and education systems are working. We're currently working with 20 organizations based in Africa, South Asia, and East Asia on studies of public expenditure tracking and absenteeism in health and education. Um, we're going to continue to work with them over the next several months. Uh, those organizations are actually wrapping up their studies of uh, spending and service delivery and they're getting into the stage now where they're building policy recommendations out of these studies that they've done and actually performing advocacy, um, evidence-based advocacy around this work to try to actually improve the way that things are happening on the ground. So in the next several months we're going to be working with these 20 organizations to continue to use their results from their studies to actually have an impact on the ground. And we're also thinking about how we can continue to expand this program so that we're not just working with these isolated 20 CSOs, but we can work with them to continue to strengthen each other and hopefully work with even more CSOs to continue to develop this work. We're extremely optimistic. Um, it's a challenging area because a lot of the work we do is on isolated projects and studies, but we've already seen a lot of impact from the CSOs we've worked with, and we think that by continuing to work in this area that these CSOs and others can have even more of an impact in improving governance um, and service delivery and spending on the ground.